Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy Gripper back here with another video for you guys today. And today we're gonna be talking about 2023 Tops Chrome and some new exciting details that just came out yesterday about this release. We're gonna talk everything we know and why it's kind of a bittersweet moment as. We have some great news and we have some not so great news regarding this set and something else in the Tops community. So we're going to get all into that in just one minute. But before we get into that, thank you guys so much for joining me on this video today. Can we get a minimum of 100 likes on today's video? As that is the best way you can help me grow this channel is by hitting that like button. And speaking about growing the channel, we're doing a giveaway. We're giving away hobby packs of Series 2. All you gotta do to enter is be publicly subscribed, like this video, turn on post notifications for all the content on the channel, and last, but certainly not least, leave a comment in the comment section on your all-star representative, and forgot to say, go subscribe to the new channel, Grip and Rip Baseball. I will pick a winner once we hit 7,000 subscribers on this channel and 1,000 subscribers on the new channel. You must be subscribed to the new channel as that is where I'm going to be picking the winner. So I'll look at that subscription list because I said to myself, well, if you subscribe there, you pretty much did all the other steps probably anyways. So I will find a winner on that channel and give away the packs to someone on there. So let's try to get that channel to 1,000 and let's try to get this channel to 7,000 and we will give away the packs of Series 2. And one last thing, of course, you guys know, I'm on the hunt for McCutcheon Parallels of Series 2. I'm looking for the retail exclusive Blue Sparkle and Purple Sparkle, which are eluding me insanely right now. For some reason, none are showing up on the internet at all. And there was one, but of course, I was like sleeping. It got listed at like 7 in the morning. Of course, my luck. Of course, like I go to sleep at 5 in the morning, so I, was, I would have never been up to see it. And it got bought, I think, like an hour later at 8 a.m. in the morning. So it's eluding me right now. And those are the two uh, last cards I'm looking for. Uh, I got so many parallels. I got the Independence Day. I'll show you one day once I get them all. Uh, my little collection. I have a pretty decent collection of uh, Kutch cards from Series 2. And I haven't even pulled one yet out of a box. Keep in mind, you. I have bought every single one of these. And I was in breaks, which I got one of the packages back today. I got four rainbow cards of McCutcheon and one break of two jumbo cases, which is insane. Like, that is, like, that's really lucky if you, like, think of it. Like, just think of it. There were 12 jumbo boxes, right? And four of them had a McCutcheon foil. And I got like three of the favorite sons insert, which he has as well. And like, I think, I think I, think I got like 17 base cards. So I did pretty well for a, a $13 break. That's how much that was. I would say I, I got my return uh, to say the least on that. So just to put it out there in the universe, if any of you guys come across the retail exclusive blue or purple sparkle cards, don't mistake it for the retail exclusive blue, which I do have. So I'm looking for that one no more. Um, that'd be awesome if you guys could help me find those, because those are the last two I'm trying to find. I'm not going to get the one of one. The one of one sold for damn near $600. Uh, ridiculous, ridiculous stuff. I can't even believe that. It's, it's insane to believe, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I'm looking for at this point. So thank you guys so much for that. And now let's get into the topic of today's video. So Chrome, 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 Chrome. A set I didn't think I would be making a video about uh, this early. Now, of course, I did make a video about a week ago talking about my expectations and my thoughts and opinions on a, a set that would be seemingly coming out in September, which this year looks like, hallelujah, not going to be the case. It's not going to be the case for 2023 Tops Chrome because we have some exciting news today, right? And as I said in the open... We have some exciting news, and we have some bittersweet news because one set's going to flourish and one set's not going to flourish, and you're going to understand what I mean by that when we get into that portion of the video because, of course, it's tops. Without something good happening, something bad always happens to correspond with the good move, right? So kind of a bittersweet moment because we'll get into it, but you'll understand what I mean. So... The big question on everyone's mind, when is Chrome releasing this year? Well, 
Can't give you a definitive answer, but I'll tell you this. Blaster boxes have a release date of July 26th. So, if you want to use that common knowledge, it's about one or two weeks after you, you see Hobby. So let's try to say July 19th or July 12th. Let's say somewhere in that area. So July 19th or July 12th, somewhere in that area, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, you know, we should be seeing hobby boxes of Chrome in hobby stores. Because Steel City today put cases of retail up for pre-order. It was interesting because... There were no hobby boxes at all yet. Now, that could change by the time this video goes live, but of course, I'm making this on Friday night, so maybe they put the pre-orders for hobby boxes on there by the time this video goes live. I don't know. But as of right now, only blaster boxes and blaster box cases are available to buy, so we're going to have to keep an eye out on that just to see. Maybe retail is coming out before... I, I, I would be shocked if that was the case, but you just never know with how Tops operates. Um, very interesting stuff. Very interesting stuff. The biggest thing I'm looking forward to with Chrome this year is the, the loaded checklist because the checklist is probably going to be one of the best checklists we have seen for Chrome in a very long time. And no, Ellie De La Cruz is not in it, Okay. I know someone will ask me in the comment section, is Ellie going to be a short print? Is Ellie going to be an update? The answer to that is no. They are holding them off until Series 1 next year. So for all you Ellie stands out there, because I know there's a lot of them, going to have to hold your horse until February of next year. But needless to say, this set don't need Ellie. This set is not going to need Ellie in the slightest bit because... Corbin Carroll had an image today of his card in the promo images, which should be the thumbnail of this video. I'm thinking it's going to be. So we're going to have all of Series 1 and Series 2 rookies in this set. Now, I don't know how overprinted this is going to be. I don't know how hard it will be to find parallels. But I'll tell you one thing. It's going to be a fun year. If you're a rookie collector and you like to collect rookie cards like I do and probably like 9 out of 10 of you who I ask watching this video, right? Chrome is going to get your rookie fix. It's going to give you that, you know, that rookie fix you're looking for with a good Chrome set. Chrome last year, do I even need to discuss how hot garbage that set actually was? I don't think I need to. That set was pure trash and there's no other way to put it there is no other way to put it to describe 2022 tops chrome missing short prints terrible rookie checklist you had wander you had o'neill and you had spencer strider that was it that was it short prints were in silver packs and the silver packs were terrible they give you freaking base cards in those silver packs which is a complete slap in the face to everybody involved terrible right? So looks like they are making it up big time this year. And I am thankful for that. So Tops actually did something good for once. For once, they are going to do something good. But we'll have to wait and see. Of course, this release date can get changed. Right now, it says 726 on Steel City. Just Hold your horse on that as well. That could very well change. Because now I'm going to bring up the bittersweet part of this video. Is if these blaster boxes are releasing on the 26th. That means Platinum Chrome Anniversary for 2022. A set that was supposed to come out last December. Which got delayed from March to April to May. Skipped over June entirely into July the last couple days of July. Looks like that set will be getting another delay sooner rather than later. So don't be surprised next week, sometime this upcoming week, if I make a video talking about the delay because it looks like here's how Tops operates. Tops usually doesn't release sets like that in that short amount of time unless they absolutely have to, like, for example, last December. 
Last December, you saw a set or two literally every single week, whether that was a retail exclusive in a fire or a holiday or a gallery or a Bowman Chrome, or whether that was a hobby and retail release like a Heritage High Number, a Stadium Club, a Stadium Club Chrome, a Allen & Ginter, you name it. Last December was probably one of the most hectic months of sports card collecting of all time. Yes, I'm saying all time because there were so many sets. Bowman Draft, another one I'm thinking of. Cosmic Chrome, I think, came out in December last year. Another one. So many sets last December, right? But Tops, here's how they like to operate. They will never usually do two sets like this, specifically talking about how important these sets are, because Platinum Chrome is no slouch, right? Platinum Chrome for 2021 was highly received as being very good and a nice you know, selling set, it sold tremendously. I didn't see it at retail at all. I did not see Platinum Chrome for 2021 at all at retail. Not once. And I go to multiple Walmarts and Targets weekly, and I did not see it once. So it was snatched up quick, uh, quick, uh, quickly. Um, so you knew they were going to do another version. And it was only, like I said, Platinum Chrome originally was only supposed to be a one-off 70th birthday celebration to Topps because 2021, although it seems like forever ago, was the 70th birthday of Topps. So they did that in commemoration of that birthday, right? But since it was so highly received, they brought it back again. But the problem is, for some reason, it is just taking so long to get this set out, even longer than the 2021 version. If you guys remember Platinum Chrome 2021, came out in March of 2022. This set, we're already in six, seven months in to the year. When is this set going to release? Is it going to release in August, September, October, November, December, 2024, January? Who, who knows? Seriously, who knows when Platinum Chrome for 2022 is actually going to be released? Wander Franco just had his two-year anniversary from being called up to the major leagues uh, a couple days ago, and we're still going to be getting Wander Franco cards with rookie card logos on his cards probably sometime late this summer. I don't know when it's coming out. Um, I, I, I don't know, but here's what I would do, right? Here's what I would do, and I think a lot of people would agree with this, what I have to say here. I would honestly push Chrome back to August, right? Why? Because you would need to focus on the delayed product first in order to thrive the 2023 product. Because the longer 2022 Platinum Chrome anniversary is going to get delayed, and it's gotten delayed quite a bit, of course you guys know, the the longer in, in time it's going to take for other 2023 sets to come out. So here's what I would do. I would delay Chrome until the middle or late August and try to push out Platinum Chrome mid-July or whenever as soon as I possibly could. Because there are people who paid for cases of this stuff. Blaster boxes were on pre-order, I know, because I've seen them on Dick's Sporting Goods. Uh, I think like in maybe like March or something. So it's not like this set's not coming out. This set is definitely coming out. Because people have already bought cases of hobbies and lights and, and retail formats of this stuff already. So it's coming out eventually. The, the question is when, right? And here's what I would do. I would delay Chrome, push it to August, right? I think we could wait till August for that. I really do think we could, if it means we can get Platinum Chrome from last year. Because it's going to get to a point where when Platinum Chrome does eventually come out, and yes, 2023 Platinum Chrome anniversary should be a thing. Now, we don't know if it is or not, but it should be if they brought it back for a second year. Who even knows when the 2023 version would come out, right? So, I don't know. I truly, truly, truly don't know. They might actually be trying to pull a big league. Of course, you guys know um, big league, if you guys don't remember this, they canceled big league for one year and brought it back the following year. I'm wondering if they're going to cancel 2023 Platinum Chrome Anniversary and go right to the 2024 version. That may be entirely possible because big league from 2021 got delayed very much similar to what we're seeing with Platinum Chrome. And that came out months after 2021. That came out, I believe, April of 2022, I believe. And 
it's kind of the same story arc. It really is kind of the same story arc we're seeing with this set compared to that set. So could they be skipping 2023's version and going right to 2024 next year? Probably. Honestly, if I was tops, if you don't want to, I mean, this would lose them money, of course, because of course they want to push out as much product as possible. If you can't catch up, you're just going to have to stop a year like they did with Big League in 2022. Of course, you guys know 2022 top Big League does not exist. It is nowhere out there. You cannot find it because it does not exist. They canceled it for a year and brought it back, right? So it's going to be interesting. But to wrap this video up and talk about Chrome for a couple more minutes here, Chrome's going to be good. I'm not going to lie to you guys. At the end of the year, when we do our top five best and top five worst sets, Chrome is probably going to be one or two. It's probably going to be because update as much as you guys want to believe update is going to be good. I cannot see update being good. You're going to have Bobby Miller, who is a beast, and you're going to have Matt McClain, who is also a beast. Other than that, Grayson Rodriguez, Blake Sable, Patrick Bailey. I mean, those guys aren't going to carry the set. Bobby Miller and Matt McClain are going to carry the set. And that is it. Now, another question I'm going to have, I guarantee you in the comment section what about short prints in this year's Chrome set? Leave them the hell far, far away from this set. We don't need a Matt McLean or a Bobby Miller short print. Short prints technically don't even exist no more. So it would make zero, and I mean zero sense, for them to be in this set. Golden Mirror Parallels are sh uh, super short prints. So theoretically, short prints, as we know back in the day don't exist no more. So for everyone out there going to ask if there's going to be short prints in the set, my guess and hopefully the answer is no because we'll need them. We can wait for Chrome Update to get um, Matt McClain and Bobby Miller and everyone else's Chrome cards when the time comes in November or December. That's just how it's going to be. That's just how it's going to be. But to wrap this video up, talk about Chrome that's apparently coming out next month. I'm actually pretty excited because this is the set that we need to captivate the audience right now. This set absolutely 110% needed to come out in the summer. Baseball interest peaks in the middle of the summer, like right around now. The All-Star break's about to hit and the, the fandom declines a little bit because, of course, the dog days of summer. Football, a lot of people, you know, as soon as, as, soon as training camp starts uh for football you know people tend to take their attention off baseball for a little bit we're gonna see a little bit of that so this set absolutely needed to come out this summer we couldn't wait till september october even august although i said we should delay it but if that's not gonna happen it is what it is i would love to see platinum chrome anniversary in july but it looks like it's not going to happen. It's I don't know what's going on with that set. Right now, it's still slated for the 27th of July, which I know for a fact, if Chrome comes out that week, you're not going to see that. So I don't know exactly what's going on with that, but it's very disheartening with that because I, I do like Platinum Chrome. Platinum Chrome from 2021 was great. Absolutely great. I cannot wait to, my hands, to uh, get my hands on the 2022 version to get the O'Neill and maybe an O'Neill autograph. That'd be nice because I know he's going to have autographs. He's definitely going to have autographs in that set. Um, but... I don't know, man. But to wrap this video up, Chrome is going to be really good. Chrome is going to be really good. Blaster boxes are going to cost $35. That's how much they are on Steel City right now. That is the MSRP retail price. So they're not price gouging or nothing like that. So if you want to pre order some blaster boxes of Chrome, which I'm probably actually going to do, um, they're $35. And that is retail price. You know, they, they increased the price last year. Uh, to $35, that's exactly what they're going to be this year. So unless something changes, I'll let you know. Of course, you guys know when price increases do happen, I am one of the first people to talk about it because uh, that is, you know, what I do here. But um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, another question I'm going to have is how about light versions? Light versions of um, Chrome. Because, of course, you guys know at that big fan event, I think it was in March, I think, they said light boxes are going the way of the Dodo Birds. So... I don't think there's going to be a Topps Chrome Light this year. Topps Chrome Light last year did exist. It was $100 a box. And you got four mini black and white diamond parallels per box. No autographs or nothing like that, right? So it looks like those are the way of the Dodo Bird as well. So I don't know. Hobby boxes, I think, are going to run about $250. I don't see myself buying one of those. I, I just don't see it. 
Um, the MVP buyback promotion is back. I think I mentioned that. I don't know if I did, but th it is back. Um, the front runners for MVP are Acuna and uh, Shohei Otani. They're having amazing seasons, respectively, for each division or each league. So I would imagine people are going to be selling those base cards for a lot of money on eBay when the set does come out. So if you see a random Shohei Otani base card for like 20 30 bucks on eBay, that's why, or Acuna or someone like that. But those two guys are clear front runners, and it's not even close. Like, there is like a little bit of a debate for a couple other people, like Corbin Carroll, but it's nowhere even close to what Otani and, and Acuna are doing right now. So, yeah, keep that in mind as well. So, that's another reason. I do think Chrome this year is going to do well. I really, really, really do think Chrome is going to be one of those sets for at least the first couple of weeks that if you can't make it to a restock uh, at a Walmart or Target, you're not going to be able to find it. Because I do think people are going to snatch this set up. Uh, depending on the odds, of course, the odds play a big factor, to me at least. I imagine a lot of other people as well. So I don't know. I don't know. We have to see what the best format is. I would obviously um, imagine... I would obviously imagine that the um, the Jumbo Hobby is probably the best format for odds. I, I, mean, I have to imagine. I mean, the box is $500 freaking dollars. So you'd have to imagine that's the best format. We'll see. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Of course, you get typically five autos uh, in those boxes as well. So I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see. It's definitely, definitely, definitely going to be interesting to see what happens with Chrome this year. I'll probably buy some individual packs the release day if my LCS guy does sell them by the pack, which he typically does. So I'll probably buy a couple jumbo packs like for like $100, two for $100, which I mean, I think it's a ripoff if you ask me personally, but it is what it is. I think jumbos back in the day are like, what, $200, $300? Now they're $500. Hopefully, hey, maybe the price will go down. You never know. Maybe the price of jumbos will go down, which I have. Yeah, saying tops lowering prices, yeah, that's never going to happen. So I uh, don't don't count on it. Don't don't count on it. I promise you. Expect them to be five hundred dollars. So if you want a chrome jumbo box, they're going to be five hundred dollars. There's Jumbo. That's that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool uh, image of him. I didn't even realize that was his image of his card. Let's see here. I mean, you know, I don't know, man. Like base pack again, like. I'll tell you what, man. This hobby box I got, absolute freaking waste. Right now, as it stands, I got literally no parallels at all in like half the box. Absolute dud. Absolute dud. So let's open this pack. Have another refractor, it looks like. So let's see. AJ Pollock. Michael Fulmer. We have a George Springer. And the last card is Sonny Grace. That pack. You know what? Let's do another pack. We can't end off on a bad pack like that. We can't end off on a bad pack like that. I know I'm doing a pack a day for this, but you know what? We can't end off on a bad pack like that. We can't. Nope. Refuse to do it. Refuse to do it. Refuse to do it. We have four packs left. No, we have three packs left. So we'll open another pack and we'll have two packs left. I don't know. This box has been a dud. <laughs> this box I bought in December or November this last past year absolute dud so far another pack let's do it man let's do it man and nothing to lose got absolutely nothing to lose i mean autographs i think fall like one in every um i believe one in every five boxes i believe i don't know let's see i don't know we have a contra jason karazan we have trevor story and the last card is yeah, that pack was terrible, too. Holy crap, man. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. We have two packs left to pull the J-Rod. I'm not expecting nothing. Uh, this box has been an absolute waste. The best card we did pull was yesterday. We pulled the C.J. Abrams Purple. Probably the best card we're going to pull. I mean, after you pull something like that, you know, they're just going to make the packs absolutely just terrible. So I, I'm not expecting anything. those last two packs. So, guys... Let me know what you think about 2023 Topps Chrome. Are you excited? Are you not? Let me know how much you're going to buy. Do you plan on even buying it at all? I'd love to hear what you guys have to think, and I'll see you guys in the next video.